feeling I'd find you here. Yeah, I came by to check on her, make sure she was doing all right. And? And she's still asleep, but the nurses said she had a really rough night. Well, that's not a good sign. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I mean, she seemed to be doing so much better. Or maybe she was just pretending and it just got too hard to keep up the charade. Oh. Or maybe something made her slip. Well, we may never know what that was. But the point is, she did slip. You need to face facts, Paul. Really? What are the facts, Sam? Meg needs to go back to Deerbrook. Excuse me. I... I'm sorry. But do you or do you not know what's going on with Meg? Yes, I think I do. Here's her toxicology report, and the results may surprise you. So what's wrong with Meg? There are high-level traces of methadone in her bloodstream. Methadone? Why would she be taking methadone? Well, 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 would, that, would that explain sudden mood swings, anxiety? At these levels, definitely. But isn't methadone something you take so that you can get off of other drugs? Well, it can be. But addicts can abuse it as well. But Meg's not an addict. There has to be some other kind of explanation. This doesn't make any sense. Yes, of course it does. It would explain her, her erratic behavior. The talk screen doesn't lie. Meg has been on drugs this whole time, Paul. How dare you put Eliza's life at risk like that? What the hell were you thinking? What are you talking about? We know about the methadone, Meg. The tox report came back in. Paul, what is going on? There were trace levels of methadone in your blood. <laughs> what? That's not possible. Oh, don't, don't, don't try to lie. Your I am not lying. Point. Paul, you know me. I would never take any drugs. It's especially not in your bloodstream. Meg, it's in your bloodstream. It doesn't magically appear on the talk screen. Well, the talk screen is wrong. Of course you're going to deny it. Okay, you know what, Em? Do you think I could talk to Meg for a second by myself, Fine. Please? Fine. Why am I not surprised? Paul, oh, this is crazy. Okay. Did you? Did you start taking methadone? I did not take any kind of narcotic. Okay. I would never do that. Well, there's a toxicology report, so how do you explain that? Well, obviously, they made a mistake in the lab. It happens. No, it doesn't. Not often. How can you even think that I would put Eliza in that kind of jeopardy? You've been under a lot of intense pressure. Yeah, and I'm trying That's to get better for my daughter. Why would I put that at risk? Paul, you know me. I, I rarely even take aspirin. Allison was here just a little while ago, and she told me that some methadone was taken from this hospital a couple of days ago. So? So? So Meg was here the very same day the methadone was taken, at around the same time. Now, you're gonna tell me that's a coincidence? It could be. What? What is it gonna take for you to open your eyes? She's more unbalanced than any of us ever I thought. I don't think that we should jump to any conclusions. Why not, Paul? You always do with me. Why is it you're always so willing to, 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 to think the worst of everyone but Meg? Okay, that's not oh. true. No, it's not true? No. It's not true. Then for once in your life, prove it. Take your wife's side. Hi. How are you feeling? Like someone who's being set up. Things aren't looking up for you, are they? It was a mistake. A mix-up. Some some lab technician messed up the results. Listen, I have to tell you, your doctor is standing by the tox report. Well, then he's wrong. Meg, honey, no one would blame you if you slipped up. I know more than anyone else how difficult it is to, to leave the protection and the security of, of Deerbrook. I was ready to leave Deerbrook, Barbara. My doctor there even agreed. But what if you weren't? It's hard to come back into the world and, and not be surrounded by the same... Okay, okay, stop it, stop it. I did not slip up, and I did not do this to myself. You know what? We all saw it. We saw at the christening how you screamed at Emily. You called her evil all in front of Eliza. I, I don't know why that happened. So it was out of your control? Yes. But not because I'm taking drugs. Okay, look, I don't want to upset you anymore, but I just heard something outside. <laughs> what now? It seems that some methadone was stolen from the hospital a few days ago. Okay, you know what? That doesn't prove anything. I certainly didn't steal any drugs. You can ask Emily. Why would I ask? 
ask Emily. Because she was here at the same time I was. I just don't think that Meg would take drugs. She's not that kind of a person. She's a, she's a nurse. She's a well, mother. Well, people can surprise you. They change. Life messes them up and they do things that you yeah, wouldn't I, expect them to do. Even under all of this pressure, I don't think true. that she would go that far. Because you won't allow yourself to believe it. You said that Meg was here the day the methadone was stolen? Yes, Allison told me. You didn't see her yourself? Now, how could she have seen her? Because according to Meg, your wife was here that day as well. Is that true? Yes, I ran into Meg that day. I was here with Eliza. Remember, your daughter had a checkup. Did Meg happen to tell you that, too? Because I know where your mother's going with this, and really? she's where's dead she wrong. Really? Where's she going with this? Well, it seems that since you're having so much trouble believing Meg on this, you should listen to this one. Don't you do, just back off, Barbara. You know what? It makes as much, if not more, sense that maybe someone else is drugging Meg. Someone who wants to make her look bad. Yeah, I suppose it's possible. What? You cannot honestly believe that I would drug her. You can do you? Telling me you didn't? I cannot believe you were asking me that question. Just tell me the truth, Emily. Did you drug Meg? 